Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. Uh, there's nobody here in the cafeteria, so I'll take all the glasses. Uh, because uh, there's a lot of potatoes. I suppose I can come back here any time. There's a lot of potatoes, a lot of cabbages, uh, and uh, there's a lot of things in here that uh, that's just gonna be... Is that a pyramid? That is a pyramid. What is that? Either way, we are inside the uh, fallout shelter. Ooh. There's an unknown machine standing before you. If you knew something about old tech, you might even recognize it. Might have even recognized it. Uh, I assume I know what that is. Uh, a vending machine, right? I can't go in through there, which is a shame because that guy over there is being a jerk. Um, but I know how to fix that. I think I know how to fix it. Let's see. So we have technology. And we have points. And we have a save. <laughs> My favorite. Let's bring it up to 50. Because I do want to know all what this is. You you see a soft drink vending machine. Once, once such machines stood in all Soviet towns and cities. After the war, most of them were used up for parts and scrap metal. I can try to jack the machine open, but that's gonna fail. And I have a glass and try to get a drink. You place the glass under the tap and push a random button. Nothing happens. You knock on the machine several times. It starts humming and suddenly spits out some smelly brown substance into your glass. It's probably stale water. Drink it. Uh, I took three points of damage. You look at the murky liquid in the glass, exhale and chug it in a single gulp. Nausea sets in momentarily as you remember the foolishness of drinking from strange unsafe sources. How did I know it was strange? It wasn't strange. What did I get? That's just the perfume. The perfume. I wonder if... Um, I'm gonna bring that up. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to uh, do anything with that. I did! You carefully search the bulk of the machine with your fingers looking for any seams in the metal cover. You find nothing, but after a closer inspection, you notice the huge lid of the machine is kept in its place, that's wrong, it's by bolts so rusty they can be removed by hand. Doing the... <laughs> if only, if only, if only rusty bolts could could uh, could be removed as easily as that. It's usually the other way around. Doing so will break the machine It's uh, if it still operates. I'm gonna do that. You pull uh, the bolts out, and open the vending machine and get some wires. Uh, sure. Sure. It's okay. I mean, the experience is really appreciated. The points into technology, yeah, sure. Not a problem, I'm just gonna save over that and pretend that I did a good choice. And I did a good choice, because it's the choice decided on by Colonel RPG, and how could such a choice be a bad choice? Nah, no, it's, it's good. Hell, Hi. You have a very nice looking uh, bathroom over here, according to my own uh, aesthetic sensibilities. Hey, Secretary General is busy right now, he says. Can I go to its bathroom? Nope. Can I open the lock? Nope. Can I go into that? Yes, I can. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It's good. Oh, I was going to steal from you. A fit, strong man wearing perfume and dressed in a classic, perfectly fitted uh, pre-war suit is looking neat and polished. He's studying you carefully without saying a word. When he finally speaks, you are amazed by the strength and confidence of his voice. I have been notified of your presence here, comrade. It's high time we met and talked face to face. Let's leave the formalities behind us. I'm the Secretary General of the Chamber of Commerce, G Gennady Nikolaev. You, Boris, are a man of mystery and indef indefinite occupation, but in the future a potential valuable ally to our city. What do you say? Uh, I feel like whether or not we become allies will depend on my willingness to embark on some sort of mission. He smiles and nods. Yes, the times when people gain their status in exchange for promises and letters of recommendation are long gone. Right now, the only thing that matters are one's actions, and us, the state's loyal servants, have plenty of things to do. Take the disgusting circus that sets up its, that set up its stands on our lands, for example. Drug dealers, kidnappers, thieves, drunks, degenerates. 
and worse than that, a Nikol uh, as Nikolaev is saying these words, his nostrils flare, and a sharp wrinkle cuts across his forehead. Of course, they are not the biggest or even the second biggest threat around here, but every great purge must start somewhere, especially if it will fit my own uh, re 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 regressive views about society. I kindly ask you to dispose of that troop trope. I, it's a word, and they're tasteless fans. All of them, yeah. I mean, physically destroy them so they can't just move a couple of kilometers and resume their activities. The remuneration for this job will amount to 3,000 rubles in cash. My trust and respect will come as an added bonus. Uh, that wouldn't be genocide, but I guess genocide might be a word that you use. Gen genocide, I... That, like, that would be a massacre. Massacre is the word, I guess. Although, you know, a genocide is still a massacre. It's just that... I guess he would be genocide in this case. Because they are the only place where you see mutants. So you'd kill their gens, which means people. Um, so, yeah, I suppose that would be. Let's see. Uh, take out a world circus. Are they really that harmful to the city? Let's... Let's ask that. Let's push push on that one thing. They're not even. They're not, it's not even a problem. This is not an emergency. I don't need to do this, but I will do it. I'll do it. Let's see what he says. Your words don't seem to have an effect on the secretary general. I can see w how that would be considered a uh, an argument, even though it would still be a, a rhetorical question, but rhetorical nonetheless. Uh, let's see. However, you notice his fists clench. You will be surprised. There is no other way to deal with them. So we execute the kidnappers this week and the drug dealers next week. What will we gain? I'm asking you to alleviate our suffering and cure us from these circus parasites once and for all with one swift and clear blow. What could be more logical? Uh, I wonder if I can convince him to not be a jerk. Or worse than a jerk. Do I look like an enemy of all this humorous... All things humorous and fun. Why don't you send the guards if they are breaking the law? Uh, I don't know if this line is going to be a line about uh, not accepting his quest, but I kind of want to go with that. Let's see, read the next ones. Can't we go about this without committing genocide? I'm sure I can convince them to live in peace. Uh, well, I still, I'm also not in favor of put, getting them out of here, so, no. Uh, you've approached the wrong man, I could never do something like that. That's my final answer, so it gives me hope that this is not the final answer. Um, I'm sure that their clowns will look hilarious with a bullet hole between their eyes, I agree. That's, there's the only, that's, that's the only way to agree. Uh, so, that tells you a lot about what his intentions are. If the only way you can agree is to be a, it's as much of a jerk as he is. You can't even be like, yes, that's right. It is important that we preserve the unmutated nature of our society. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's the, the wall thing. Uh, let's go with the first one, though. Ooh, it was a personality check hidden in there. Do I look like an enemy of all humorous things? Or all things humorous and fun? He says, well, I see that you are trustworthy enough to know the real reason. I know the real reason. First of all, despite the best efforts of the officials from the Mass Cult Bureau... That's a very... It's a very tw 2000s name right there if you have a capital... That's... That, it... It's a name. There's a name for a capital in the, uh, letter in the middle of a word. But that's that's a name right there. The ordinary citizens still appreciate idiotic entertainment that is a circus and therefore want to be too happy to hear that their government was behind the destruction of their favorite form of entertainment. In addition, the genocide of circus performers... So he admits that it is a genocide. Uh, organized by unknown fighters near Krasnoz Nameni could become a curious military incident, he says, doing air quotes, that later can be used as justification for future expansion. A curious military incident. I wonder if the word curious is the one you want to use. Mr. Weak and undemanding voice. Undemanding? That's not the word. What was the word? Um... Conf unco inconf unconfident. Unconfident? Is that how it... Anyway. Can't... Uh, nope, you've approached the wrong man. Uh, so, no. Secretary General... The uh, Secretary General's face turns dark. You won't get the chance to come back later and say that you've changed your mind? Think my proposition over carefully. Is that what you really mean? I am rarely this wrong about people. Don't make me sad. 
Oh, I would like to make you a lot more than sad. I'm, I'm unfortunately, I don't think I can. Uh, no. Well, what a pity. I shouldn't have to say this, but I am sure it is understood that this conversation never happened. Have a good day. Oh, we should have to say it. Also, it definitely did happen, and I will definitely remember that. Also, I hope I can actually s do something about this. I hope I can go up to... I don't know. He seems... I don't... It's, mm, I would think that the, uh, the television station is a state television thing. So, uh, probably can't go up there. There's no journalism here. So I can't go up there and be like, Hey, this guy over here wants to murder your favorite form of entertainment. That's not even, you know, take it away. It's just murder it. Um, I'm not really sure. Let's continue looking around. Uh, hopefully I will be able to come back, though. Because he said, I want to be able to come back and say uh, and ask. I hope I'll be able to come back down here. Nice. That's nice enough. Because there's there's more things for me to loot. That's really the the reason. And we did a full a full a full circle thing. Okay, good stuff. Let's go over here, and uh, let's see where we have things. We got a bunch of cabbages. Let's put them all over here. I think is where I'm keeping my junk. Yes. Uh mm, oh, there them cabbages. Put them all in there. Oh, also I can put the head for right now because I'll. I'll take it. Not that. This. Because I'll take it with me. Uh, still, because it's really heavy. Just want to make sure the things that are empty stay yellow. There's there's a lot more cabbages down there. This is going to be a bit of a problem. And they don't show up over here. Show up at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, put that stuff in there. Oh, apples. Oh, they're not very heavy, though. Apples aren't. Okay. Because this is going to be, I hope, a source of good money. There's the potatoes. Or some potatoes. And that's that's what I was... That's where I was keeping everything. But now it's really, really easy for me to, to see. This is, this is a good... It's a good change. I like it. It's not something that I... I mean, yeah, I guess I take that for granted a little bit in um, in video games. What is that? What did I? What else did I leave behind? Something else wasn't there. Huh. Don't know. Um, you know, because usually they will show you what you've looted already and all that sort of stuff. But um, but in this ca in this particular situation, it works really well. I guess it's also easy to tell because a lot of the containers are just, uh, they all literally change shape depending on uh, whether you've opened them or not. Not these ones, though. These ones don't do that. And I think that's that. We might have some cabbages over here. We have potatoes. And over here we have more cabbages and also these things. I could take those, but I'm not gonna. Because I'm not gonna loot the cabbages. Because they're too heavy. I mean, I could do that off camera, I suppose. Uh, let's see. So. Let's look look at it through here. What did I pick up? I don't know what I picked up. Oh, right, the cans. No, they're all over there. Okay, so I'll take these. And I'm over encumbered. Which means I'm going to need to leave the taters back here. Or something. The glasses are not that heavy. Oh, I need to look at the total. One kilogram of glasses. <laughs> Five kilograms of waste paper. Uh, no, I actually will need that, but the problem is... It's quite a lot of biscuits over there. So I'll just leave the waste paper for right now and I'll sell the rest. Uh, that's half a kilogram of, of spoons. How do I tell the waste paper? Oh, right. That's why. That's why. Okay, that's good enough. So, I just need to drop a few. Let's go with... Let's go with five. That's good enough. Good. Let's leave. Uh, do I have the head? 
I do. Let's also deliver the head. Also, this is not the way to go. I really hope I'll be able to come back. So, uh, and if I can't, I should be able to... Uh, to take more with me? But let's find out. Because I'm hopeful... Yeah, this guy's just gonna stand aside. What's up? Come in, friend. Yeah. He's very very welcoming now. Okay, good. And then we have people moving around. I'm just gonna have a chat with them, make sure... I talk to you. And I talk to you. And uh, I'll talk to you over here. You don't barter. I was hopeful, hopefully gonna barter with you, but no. We need to go to a proper shop. Let's go... Oh, we didn't even look around. Oh, that's the... I bet. The mushroom cult, of course. Uh, This is all new places to me. Is it? Or did I come in through here? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, um, yeah. So this is the hospital, which means I can get some things. Maybe not money, but I'll be able to get some things out of this. Hello. You barter. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'll be able to get the stimulants and all that sort of stuff. Take all my corn. Thank... Oh, it's so cheap. That is so cheap. I think waste paper is going to be necessary for things. How heavy is it? It is pretty heavy, though. So I'll just keep some. And these are also pretty heavy. But they are also crafting supplies. Cucumber brine. I'll sell you that. Uh, Pre-war vodka. I'll hang on to it. And then the spoons. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so cast pyramid. Stimulants. That one I don't need as much. Oh, look at that. There's perfume. So we can buy that as well. And uh, was that? Maybe cologne. Well, that's something. Uh, it also means that I can't sell everything here. Up to that. Yeah, I can pay. Well, actually, I can give you some spoons over here. Another one? Another one. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we have a doctor over here, and then we have another one over there. This guy does have money, though, so that's a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, because these things are really heavy. Did I sell the cucumber brine? I think I did. Um, so the good thing about vodka is that uh, it cures radiation. And as far as I can tell, it's the only way to do that. Coffee is very expensive. Glasses are not too expensive, unfortunately. Yeah, beer. Beer doesn't cure radiation, though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know why. I, would, I don't understand why it doesn't. What is that thing over there? Mod Moldonium. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Uh, these are batteries. They're not very heavy. Got moonshine. Moonshine does cure radiation. Super glue, probably very important. It's kind of heavy, but not too much. Uh, that's good enough for me. Let's see what else. Can we get anything else? I guess we can get the med kits. Let's aim for the med kits over there. Uh, so I have the spider brains, which I'll keep with me. I have some empty bottles. Not too expensive empty bottles. I should make grenades out of these and sell the grenades instead. Uh, we have an old boot. That's really interesting. I'll sell it. Because why not? Also, corn and seeds. These things... I wonder if we can make seed... Uh, seed. I wonder if we can make, um... These a lot of them. Because it, it wouldn't surprise me. Right there. Good. Uh, and then... Did I just choose don't interfere with him? Because I definitely did. I definitely interfered with him plenty. Uh, let's see. I will take that. I'll take this. Uh, I... Read that already. I think I sold it to her. There you go. So, 290. That's pretty good. Got magnifying glass. I think these are needed for something, so I'll keep them. I will sell the forks and the spoons. The cologne. Yeah, sure. The This thing, I can make ciggies out of them or whatever. So, I'll sell these. Yeah, we're good on the money front. I'll sell that. That's just something. Uh, the Siggy, so I'll sell that as well. 
Oh, and biscuits. Right. Let's not forget, I don't need the biscuits. I mean, everybody needs biscuits, but my character doesn't. Uh, let's see. So that's three. Can I? Do I have anything here? Yeah, I do. Right there. Good. Fantastic. Making money out of that. That's really good. Uh, what, and this guy over here as well is Hells. Hello. He doesn't sell anything else, though, because I just got everything out of him already. And this guy I don't think sells anything. Nope, he does not. I'll see you later, because we have missions for him and all that sort of stuff. So let's continue exploring the center area of Krasnos Nameni, because that's where we are. Also, we should go back to the, the Chamber of Commerce, because uh, we didn't explore pretty much anything. There's just so... Oh, oh it's, a, it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a... What's the name? Oh, we have... Uh, we have the miles over names now. We didn't have that before, I'm pretty sure. Huh, it's good. Not that I remember their names, but still, it's good. But it does mean that I've talked to them already. That is very important. That is very important. Huh, good, good, good. Yeah, we just found this vault and I was eh, that's good. Let's go down there. Let's have a chat with you. An untidy woman in her 30s looking as if she had no time to check what she was putting on herself and just put on the first thing she grabbed out of her wardrobe with a massive chin and annoyed tired eye suddenly darts off and nearly bumps into you, barely holding a heavy pile of forms that look old and yellow but have clearly been filled in recently. That is all one sentence right there. When she overcomes her shock, she starts nervously and incompetent comprehensively. I think starts might mean, or to start, might mean something that I am not aware of. I always thought that it was, uh, you know, start doing something or start the car. You can't just start. What are you doing? I'm starting. I guess you can, but it's uh, it, unless it's implicit. It's like, I'm starting, as in starting to move or starting to do something. Anyway. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Buy glasses if your eyesight is weak. I have no strength as it is. I don't need weird people growing up in front of me like mushrooms after rain. Wait. Are you by any chance a lawyer from Trudograd I invited here last week? A lawyer. Uh, are you looking for Katerina M Mavrova? Because if you are, it's me. But wait. Oh, there is that. We know her name. But wait. He couldn't have come so fast. What do you want? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of on the other side of the world from a lawyer. What are, what are these papers? What do you need all these certificates for? The woman's nostrils flare with anger, and she starts uh, pulling papers out of the pile frantically. Well, this one proves that I exist. This one confirms that the official who the official who confirmed my existence is entitled to confirm such things. This one is a proof that I paid for his services, and this... Ah, no, I'm fed up. My brain will burn if I continue. <laughs> well, yeah, we were talking about bureaucracy last, uh, last episode. It does look like it is very much what these guys are all about. Also, maybe killing the mutants in the circus. Or specifically killing the circus, I'm not really sure. They, they, he, the guy downstairs didn't really didn't really make it an overly overt point against the, them being mutants. It's just apparent, apparently he just he thinks that circuses are inherently evil. It's just like, oh, that's stupid. They should read a book instead or something. I don't know. This looks like a nightmare. Okay, well, that she doesn't say anything. Tell me about that pile of documents. I've told you already. I, you did. Okay, uh, so, um, are you from around here or a visitor? What wouldn't, what wouldn't I give to be a local resident? They, that's actually the other way around. What I wouldn't give to be a local resident. They need to file five forms fewer to obtain the status of an official supplier. I'm from the south. Okay, what do you do in the city? I try to establish a working place for me and my family. To found a, comp a company that would supply everyday essentials, but the red tape here is a disaster. It's like beating against the wall. Uh, are there any interesting rumors? What freaking rumors are you talking about? One can break one's head trying to understand how to register a uh, company here, and you want to listen to a bunch of nonsense and spread it around? I... that's not... that's not what rumors are. That's what gossip is. I think this game doesn't know the difference. Uh, at least the characters don't. Uh, what do you think of local bureaucrats, if it wasn't obvious? They're wonderful, she says. Oh, sarcasm. My favorite thing in writing. Absolutely. I, how I adore it. Um, great people, she says. Couldn't be better. Fuck them. That's, yeah. I'll see you later, then. Bye. You, what, what, what did the narrator say about you? 
it said things. The, the narrator said things. Oh, we have more, more of these things. It's good stuff. Experience. Um, and I'll just... Nobody bats an eye. Yeah, I'll just get that. Did I talk to you, sir? I did not talk to you. Come here. Or at least if I did, I didn't learn your name. I should learn your name, though. Come here. Oh, it's this guy. Why? I can't ask him about himself. That's very interesting. Anyway, we're out of time for the day, so uh, let's continue exploring this place next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.